and again see in the 74th amendment act it provides for establishing a district planning committee see district planning committee is nothing but it prepares or consolidate the plans of panchayat and municipalities and make a single development plan for the district see panchayats will have their own development plans right similarly municipalities of the district will have its own development plan okay and in this district planning committee both the plans of panchayat and municipalities are consolidated and they commonly make a single development plan for for the whole district that is the power of function of district planning committee okay and regarding the composition of district planning committee or how the manner of election or powers and functions all this will be determined by the state legislature but the act says that four fifth of the members should be elected by the elected members of panchayats and municipalities from among themselves of the total members of district planning committee four fifth should be elected by the elected members of panchayats as well as municipalities from among themselves remaining others the state legislature can determine okay and the chairman of the district planning committee send that development proposal to the concerned state government fine similarly 74th amendment also provides for establishing metropolitan planning committee again in metropolitan areas metropolitan planning committees establish which make an integrated plan for the whole it consolidates the plans of municipalities in the metropolitan area and it also consolidates the plans from panchayats of the municipal of the metropolitan area and then consolidate a plan for the whole metropolitan areas fine again the manner of election composition of the metropolitan area committee uh, sorry metropolitan planning committee determined by the concerned state legislature its powers and functions who should be represented whether mp mlas uh, and other people's representatives has to be given representation all those manner state legislature can determine but the act says that at least two third of the members shall be elected by the elected members of panchayats and municipalities of that area from among themselves in case of district planning committee it is 4/5 in case of metropolitan planning committee it is 2/3 that's the only differences you have to note down okay the purpose is to consolidate the plan of the consolidate the development plan of panchayats and municipalities and make a single development plan as a whole that's the purpose of this whole uh, these committees this is regarding the district this is regarding a concerned metropolitan areas fine and all those powers man of elections are a presentation of other people so determined by the concerned state legislature only fine 